everybody. This one's hot off the press. Um, just yesterday, the new May 2021 Power BI update came out. And it's not a hugely exciting update as these things go, but there's one feature in there that I think has the potential to be pretty great. It's it's just in preview right now. It's kind of in the early stages, kind of the way conditional formatting was when it was first rolled out. It wasn't very widespread. It wasn't as flexible as it was going to become. But you could see the potential for it. And I think that's the same way um, I'm looking at the new modern visual tooltips. I definitely, this is kind of the winner in the uh, in the package this month. And I wanted to take a little bit of time and show you what it does, how it works, and where I think it's going. Um, so before we get into that, let's just take a look at the old tooltips. So this is just a, a simple report I put together for demo purposes. And it just has a, a matrix with some different granularities. It's got year and month, and then channels and total revenue. And then I've got total revenue by year, and then you can drill down into month, and then you can drill through in the customer. So I've got a, a, a page with top five customer detail. And if we go back to the overview, and we take a look at the tooltip, this is the the current tooltip, the current default tooltip. And it's it's not very exciting. It's the one we're, we're all used to, kind of the standard black and gray and white tooltip. Uh, pretty minimal. You can customize it. Um, but this is what it looks like out of the box. Um, now let's take a look at the, the modern visual tooltip. And I think you'll see some striking differences right away. Um, it's a preview feature. So what you need to do to access it is go to options and settings, um, and then go to preview. And we just need to find preview feature and turn that on. I've got it turned on here. And the interesting thing is that for, for new reports, once you turn that on, it'll create the new modern visual tooltip in every report you create subsequently. But for old reports, what you've also got to do, and this report was created from an old report that I had on default tooltips. So if you go into report settings here and then scroll down, you'll see there's a second option where you have to turn on modern visual tooltips in the existing report. And if we do that, we'll see some immediate changes. So the first thing we see is that the tooltip looks different. That what it does, it takes on the theme of the report itself. So in this one, I'm using a, a common uh, custom theme from the Microsoft Gallery called Spring Day. And it takes the, the primary colors from the Spring Day theme. And you can customize that at the visual level just through the paint roller. And you'll see within tooltip that you can change all the different colors, font, font family, background color, transparency, kind of all the, the standard features you've been able to change in the past. Um, what you can also do is you can go into view theme and you can change the, um, the tooltip at the, at the theme level if you just go into customize current theme. Visuals and then tooltip, you can change it for the entire report. Or you can set back to default. And we're just going to keep it with the way it is right now. The other thing you'll notice is that it's got something that I think is, is a really great feature for teaching people how to use your reports. That one of the challenges has always been teaching users how to drill up, down, and through on reports. And you have to teach them typically how to, how to left click or to use the, uh, the visual header up here. The nice thing about the modern tooltip is if you, you just mouse over and hold for a little bit, you'll see all the, the drill down, drill up, and drill through option. Drill down into month, 
drill back up in the year. And then what you can also do is you can drill through into that top five customer detail page. And then when you get here, you can then drill up into the into the year and then drill back down into customers and back to the the main overview page so it just makes navigation and kind of the transparency of the flow of your report a lot more a lot more clear to the the average user um, I think it just it looks nice um, the one thing about it that is pretty limited right now is if you go into the documentation um, you'll see that it's it's really only the bar chart where you've got the the full control of the drill actions um, that it's not available for line charts for custom visuals for area charts decomposition trees um, my sense is that what's going to happen is that with each successive rollout what you're going to see is more and more um, visuals and features added on to the the modern visual tooltips i think this is just the the tip of the iceberg but really nice feature um, definitely encourage you to play around with it um, if it's active for the visuals in your report i think it's very usable as is um, so interested to hear in the comments what you think um, as always thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video hey everyone Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.